Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for stopping by. This is The Art of Being, and my name is Millie T. You guys, can we talk? Can we have a conversation really quickly? Um, I'm just here to rant. I was watching a, a gospel music video with my daughter. The music video, I don't know, it's called God is Watching Over You. It's kids worship. You know, you got to teach the children how to uplift the most high. You know, there's a lot of joy in worship and praise. So I want her to know that singing, she can use that to be closer to the most high. And we just minding our own black and brown business watching uh, the music video. And it happened to be kids in a skating ring skating around and they're singing about Jesus and you know, all this good fun time. And I remember when I was a kid, we went to skating ring. I grew up in North Carolina. And we went to the skating ring, gosh, I don't know if it was annually or whatever, but it was some of the most fun and memorable times. Uh, I actually missed skating, and I missed the skating ring. And my daughter, you know, as I'm like reminiscing and thinking of this, and as I'm just worshiping and praising, but um, actually I was cleaning, and she was watching the video. And um, she said to me, or said or announced or whatever, I miss skating. And because we used to go to the skating ring here in our town uh, a while. Um, I mean, every once in a while, you know, you remember there's a skating ring in town and you go and hang out. Or when you get invited to a kid's birthday party and you gotta go with your child and teach them how to skate. And then my daughter's school, like every March, the kids would go skating for an entire week. Gosh, that was so great. And it's being taken away from the children skating rings in my town i don't know about in your town let me know down in the comments there's no skating rings open rinks i keep saying skating is it skating ring or skating rink i don't know but no skating rings are open and it makes me really bum for my child who says i miss the skating ring i know you as a grown adult you probably miss a lot of things too that we can't do that much anymore but it gets me oh right here you know what i'm saying because it makes me also think of the library my daughter and i used to go to the library weekly it's the community she always made a friend at the library as well and the kids they can't do that anymore and uh most of you all might see it as a sign of safety but i take it as a sign of offense to my intelligence like because yes i believe that there is a disease around there killing folks but her um why are y'all acting like it's gonna take us out? That's all I'm trying to say. Like, uh, okay, all these millions of people are dying and God bless and rest their soul. Uh, but when is the day go by where not a whole bunch of people is dying anyway before COVID? You know what I mean? Like, y'all bear with me here. I haven't recorded in a while and, and you know, we might have some, some different type of way of thinking, but just bear with me here. Um, how many diseases, black plague, yellow jack, swine flu, bird flu, how many like diseases have we gone through as a, as a world, as a planet, that we're still here? So I'm trying to figure out, <laughs> you know, just I apologize in advance because I like to speak freely, but Lord just help me to speak to where, you know, nobody feels too, whatever, anyway. Amen. Anyway, with all these diseases that we've gone through as a society, as a people, as, as human beings, we're still here. Why is it that with COVID, y'all losing y'all minds? I know why, because they're like, oh my gosh, COVID's here, put on mask and stay indoors. That put on mask, stay indoors, that's what's got y'all bugging. That's what's got y'all bugging because y'all like, oh, because with the other diseases flying around, nobody said put on masks, stay indoors. But this particular one, they said put on masks and stay indoors. That kind of heightens the situation. Even me, I'm like, quarantine, we got to lock down. Oh, it's, it, it's that serious. Like, it must be really contagious or whatever. Uh, I'm not going to get into the whole thing about viruses and, and how the body works and take care of your body stay spiritual i will get to the stay spiritual part and you know you can be protected from covid if you're uh, healthy and you know 
wash up and just don't be everywhere in, in everything or whatever. You know, I'm, I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac anyway, so I always wash my hands before I did anything anyway. And all up, you got to all up, you know, if you're doing all this washing out. Wash and oil. But anyway, um, I don't know. This particular one is like, Wipe down your groceries when you bring them home and this and that. Now, again, I'm a hypochondriac, so I did that. I did it for, like, a good, like, month. I'm wiping down every single grocery that come in my house. Um, you always wash your vegetables anyway, but uh, because they said wear a mask and lock down, that's what's got everybody like, oh, my gosh, it's really going to kill us. Because I feel like there's been tons of diseases already. What's the difference between these and COVID? Or those in COVID, you know, and I feel like it's the mask and the um, and the quarantine that's heightened it. And, and we have to understand that we're being manipulated, like, for real, for real. Is there a disease out there? Yes. There's always diseases out there. There's a world of sin. Adam ate the apple. We kicked out the garden. So, look, sin for yourself, okay? Good luck. I hope you make it. I hope we all make it. But, honestly, and I, I'm a very black and white person. People die. People die. We die. I'm going to die, and you're going to die. Some of us might rise again because that's how, if you believe in the Bible, the Most High says the dead will rise first. Okay, did Jesus not get up out that grave? You know why? Because he was a holy man. He was God's child. He was God's son. So he got up out the grave. So, you know, I'm not concerned at all about death. If I die, I'm going to get back up. Get back up again, hey, get back up again, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I don't remember the words. So I don't fear death. That's number one. I feel like us as Christians forget the Bible says, what is it? God has not given you a spirit of fear, but a spirit of power, love, and a sound mind. Have your own sound mind. There should be no reason for you freaking out on any type of disease that ever comes around your way. Because the Bible says in Psalms 91, a thousand may fall on this side and 10,000 may fall on that side, but it will not come nigh thee. Meaning it won't come near you. Only those who dwell in the secret place of the Most High will abide under that shadow of the Almighty. Hello? When you have the king of kings, when you have the most high, the creator of all of this. But right now, the Lord has called me to just, this is my channel, he said, to just Millie go. And I said, God, you know I'm crazy, so here we go. You Christians got me messed up. Y'all acting real unholy, real unsaved. Real, you're forgetting who you're dealing with. You're dealing with the most high. It says, if God be for me, who can be against me? That includes COVID, okay? So how is it going to bother me? Let's say I do get sick and die. I'm still going to rise again. <laughs> so why am I worried? I walk around like this. This is how Millie walk around. My soul shall make its boast in the one I love the most. My soul shall make its boast in the Lord. That means I got God. Why am I tripping? I got God. Why should I fear COVID? I, I don't understand any anybody who believes in the Most High who fears anything um, or worries about anything. The Bible says, be anxious for nothing in Philippians 4, I don't know, 6, 7. Be anxious for nothing and uh, just make your prayer and petition known to God. Thank him and move on about your day. But we're walking around here allowing the government to shut us down. Now, the reason why the government is going to shut us down, you know, because they say we're free. But you can't go anywhere without a mask on. You can't buy or sell. You can't do anything without a mask on. You know what I'm saying? They say just stand six feet apart and it's okay, da, da, da. But no, you have to have a mask on. It's not enough that we're six feet apart. They done canceled children's birthday parties. They done canceled school. When I grew up, they said children need to have social life. They need to play with their peers. But the government, yes, she said it, has d divided 
all of us. Oh, stay home for the holidays. Don't go near your loved ones. I don't fear nothing. So I'm going to go see my mama. I'm going to go see whoever. Now I can't go see my mama. She be like, no, nah, don't come around here. You know, my mom don't play that. But I feel like I, I see that it's a, a, a divide of the enemy. And you know what? Really, it's already done. It's already over with. We were done as a society listening to the man, the government, um, instead of Christ, instead of the word of God, instead of the words of the most high God. We've been listening to them. I say the downfall of mankind, this is just a guess I like to, you know, where it's just like, it's over, y'all. Because in the Bible, we are, it already says um, that they're going to have control to a point where if you don't have this mark of their system, whatever that is, if you don't have this mark, you can't even buy bread. You can't do anything. This COVID stuff is just a little bit of a taste of what it's going to be like in the end. So the little bit of freedom we got now, I'm like, dang, open the skating ring. Let the children skate. If I want to put my life at risk, can I do that? It's my business. It's my life. I'm free, right? This is America, right? Nah, you're not really free. It's an illusion. We should bloody know that by now. You would think so. If you watch, there's this beautiful documentary called 13th on Netflix. And I don't know if it's still on Netflix or not, but it's called 13th. And it just shows the illusion of black people being free. Because people are always like, oh, you know what black people have been going through? They ain't got nothing going on. They've been free since, you know, 17, whatever. They ain't free. Nah. Nah. Remember when they freed us? They never said, oh, everyone, black people, they're free now. Abraham Lincoln done set them free. And uh, you can invite them to your church now. Go ahead and mix and marry and let them be your neighbors. Give them your banks and this and that. No, they still kept us divided because they still had a whole plan. And da, 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 da. it's an illusion of freedom. That's why we still separated. That's why we still making movies in the... When did TV come out? Uh, and even um, film, the pictures they call them, um, silent films and stuff. Ain't no black people in there, but we free, right? But no, uh, no, we'll let them make their own movies. We we still gonna still lift our white race up and 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 everything. And nothing's wrong with white people. I'm not talking about that. It's the spirit that controls everything. That's got everybody divided that I don't like. Like certain towns don't even have BET on their cable list. It's like they purposely wanted, wanted to keep us apart as a, as a human race and, and give this illusion of freedom. <laughs> and everyone's cool and everyone's equal. Well, we didn't knew all along. You know, they, they weren't freaking not. I didn't see a lot of Asian movie stars. I saw a lot of white movie stars. I didn't see a lot of Middle Eastern movie stars. I know that's Asia. I, I, I see them as basically separate. I don't care, whatever. Um, or black movie stars. You know, it's always very divided. TV shows, whatever, it's always very divided. It's an illusion of freedom, illusion that we're equal and clear. And then you grow up, you get a little older, and now they're trying to include everyone now, which is great. It's positive. It's wonderful. Anyway, the whole point is I'm trying to say is we're done as a society. We've been listening to them and having them control us for so long to the point where it's going to be a point where they say, you can't eat, you can't sit with us, you can't do this and you can't do that without a mark. And they're already testing it with the mask because it's been diseases all the time. It's been diseases. We've been, as a human race, had diseases. Like I said, we sin. We, we out of the garden. So it's just diseases everywhere. We eat terrible. There's diseases. We don't listen to the, the scriptures where God says, this is what you eat. What is that? Leviticus 11 is the food or live, of what we should eat and not eat and such and how we should treat our bodies and the laws. Read the laws. That's God's word he gave to his Hebrew children. Moses, come tell the people, my people, what I need them to do as a society or government. I'm not in the government of the United States of America. I'm still trying to get up out of there right now. Uh, God is my president. Yeshua Jesus is my vice president. I listen and obey to them. Now, I'm still polite out in the streets because I go out, I don't have a mask on. I'm going in your, your store, your, uh, what's the word I'm trying to say? Your vicinity, your, what is it? 
establishment. I'm going into your establishment. I'm not going to have a mask on. I put on a mask when I'm talking to people because we've got to talk. And okay, I'll be respectful to you in that way. But if we're six feet apart, I don't, I don't, I mean, let me get my groceries and get up out of here. You know, and then look at this face. Why do I want to cover up this face? Like, what, what are we doing? We can't even see each other anymore, identify each other anymore. But the point is, it's all over, you guys. So knowing that it's all over and everything like that, I guess that might be another rant for another time. But we're done as a society because y'all just bow and listen to whatever the man says, the government says. Even though we're supposed to be free. <laughs> And I know y'all see it as a safety thing, but don't even get me started. The mask is not going to protect you all from COVID. Either, you go, either your body can handle what's floating around or it can't. Period. Either your body can handle it or it can't. The, the Bible says in, what is it, Ecclesiastes 3, it's a time to die. There's a time to live and there's a time to die. Some people live and some people die. It's been that way since the beginning of time. What's new? Why do we have to shut down and quarantine is the difference now in this one. And it's because the man, the government, and who rules the government, which is spiritual wickedness in high places, says Ephesians 12, the, the rulers in high places, those spiritual wickedness in high places, okay? Demons, give them message to give us the message. And we just going along with it because that's, that's the plan of the enemy right there of uh, wickedness, the spirits that's against the most high. Lock down those people. Tell them they can't do anything if, if they don't have this mask on. Even though God wants you to live, take care of yourself and live. You might make it today, you might not. I hope you have the spirit of God and the spirit of Jesus in your heart so that you can rise again and be okay in the end. You, this is a fleshly body. It's going to die at some point. I would just say, enjoy yourselves now. You know what I mean? Like, but we can't. They shut down everything. I, my child can't go to the library. My, my child can't play with a lot of her friends. And this hurts my heart. It hurts my heart that um, we used to have friends that would come inside and play, and they can't anymore because, and the, because they're scared. That's what it is. They're scared of COVID. How were you a believer of the most high Jesus, King of Kings, Lord of Lords, and God the creator? How are you believing in this and having faith that he can do all things, he can do anything, but walk around scared? It don't add up and it don't make sense. You, you're walking around being a hypocrite almost, you know what I mean? Now, hey, I'm, I, 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 I'm not judging. I hope I'm not judging because I'm human too. And I've done some crazy things too. And that's just how it is. That's just how it is. No one's perfect. No one was perfect except Yeshua Jesus. That's why he could only be the sacrifice. Him, just him. If he had done anything to break any of the laws that, that Yeshua, that, that uh, God set to give to uh, the Hebrew children, because Yeshua Jesus is Hebrew from the tribe of Judah. If he broke any of the laws that God gave, then he couldn't be the lamb to be sacrificed. Thank God he listened and obeyed all the laws, and he was pure, and he was a lamb. And thank God for Jesus, because he covered us, and now we can. he showed us how to live and said, if you do well and follow the most high's laws, when you die, you shall rise up again. Okay? You have to have uh, obedience to God. And you have to have a belief in Jesus so that you may rise again. All right. That's just death. Whether COVID takes you out or, or bus ride take you out. I'm just saying in death, you can still rise again if you obey the Lord and if you have Jesus. Okay? That's that. But I'm talking about while you're walking here on this earth, God is protecting his children. That's how he works. When didn't God protect his children? Okay? When did he protect them? We all have things to do here upon this earth right now. If you're a believer of the Most High, you should know your calling at this point. That's that passion, that thing in your belly that you you can't sit down, you can't uh, let it slide. You have to 
to be involved in some type of way, that's probably something that God has called you to do. Go on and do that. And, and, and you know, do it with all your might and do it to the most high. Uh, especially because there'll come a time where we won't be able to do it. Because they're closing stuff down and they're separating us and this and that and whatever, you know. The Lord called me to rant and talk to the people. So that's what I, I get to do that at the comfort of my own home until they come and shut me down. Because that's what they're going to do. Because they're going to be like, Millie, you need to take this mark or you need to take this back to your shop. I had a dream, y'all. Oh, I'll share the dream in another video. But my point is just, we don't drink the Kool-Aid. Well, not me. But a lot of Christians, believers in God, the Most High, have drank the Kool-Aid. And they're freaking out and actually afraid of something. Get out my way. I don't want you fighting with me if you're going to be scared. I'm going to be real, 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 real with you. You know what the Bible says? The Bible, the Most High had his army, Israel. He said to the leader, listen, go down this list right here and kick out the people in my army that follows this. If anybody just got married, kick them out. They ain't going to fight today because they got, they just, you know what I mean? If anybody who's uh, got some issues or whatever, kick them out. They can't fight with us today. If anybody who is afraid in my army, kick them out. They can't fight with us today. If anybody who's got, you know, oh, I must tend my business, whatever. Kick them out, my army. I'm working. I need people on the battlefield who's going to just focus on what the task is at hand. I don't want nobody scared in my army. I sure don't. I don't want to, you know, I'm, God bless all the service members right now today. Uh, the men and women who fight for us who, who are that brave to do that. I don't want nobody, if, I'm, if, I, if I join the, the service, I'm just saying this hypothetically because I'm only in the army of God. I can't fight for the government of the United States of America because I don't believe in everything that they be popping off on. I don't think we need to fight over everything we be fighting over. Whatever, whatever. That's a whole other discussion. But the point is, I don't want nobody side by side, shoulder to shoulder to me if they're scared. We going out there, we riding. You know what I'm saying? We riding. You start up to fight, we fight. Are you a Christian? Are you a believer of God? Is this not, does the Most High say you're at war, spiritual warfare? And you're out there scared. In the middle of COVID, oh my God. God, I, I was going to go and, 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 and pray with my sister over there for her healing. Her child, you know, needs the prayer or whatever, or, you know, her and her man are having some issues and, but I don't want to go over there because, uh, and, and bring your light because uh, uh, the COVID is around. I don't want to be in nobody else's house because of COVID. Then get out my army then. How about that? Go sit in the corner somewhere. Okay, go pray from a distance then. God needs people who understands when I say go, do this, you go and do it. And you're not really going to sweat and worry about COVID. Remember Jesus, he went and healed the lepers. You weren't supposed to even touch lepers. You weren't supposed to come. It wasn't even no six feet. It was, <laughs> it was like they put the lepers over in caves. They were like, y'all go live in there. And uh, cause your skin, you know, it's, it might, it's going to jump on me. And you know, Jesus was up in there healing them, touching them. He's fine. He was fine. Because it says a thousand may fall on thy side or that right hand. Ten thousand may die on your left hand, but it will not come nigh thee because you dwell in the secret place of the Most High. It's a secret place. Please read Psalms 91. When diseases pop off, remember that God has you in a whole little cocoon over this way. I need you all to get back into that mentality of what we were taught in church, not to fear anything. If anybody is afraid of COVID who believes in Jesus, y'all need to go back and read your Bible and remember the scriptures. You're good because you have God. And even if you do die from it or whatever, you're going to get back up again. Hello. This is, I'm just telling y'all what the book says. The book said it before I came here and the book is always going to say it. God's word don't change, okay? And you're going to die one day. And I'm going to die one day. And it'd be nice to die all, you know, cute and pretty and all this. 
you know, have a nice little service and whatever. But honestly, in the end, we got to remember the same people we getting our orders from are the same people that's going to decapitate us. Y'all might not get it now with these masks. Y'all might comply now. Okay, we'll put on the masks. You know, we understand. Okay, I understand. I understand. Comply, whatever. But it's going to come a time where it's going to go a little further. And they say you have to take this mark or you can't eat. Right now, it's like you can't come in our establishment without a mask on. Please wear your mask. Wear your mask. And you know, school is about to start back up. And I don't know if they're going to have the kids have to be vaccinated or, you know, or what I'm not sure that's another rant um, or have the kids be all in bubbles in school remember the boy in the plastic bubble that movie from the 70s God don't want people living like that that is not how he designed it at all he designed it where we walk around naked and free and we screw that up God bless Adam and Eve God bless them so they are mother and father um, but no one's perfect, so there's mess-ups, but we got to remember that there's Jesus. He's our insurance. He's your insurance. He's your health insurance. He's your all your soul insurance. So why are we living in fear? And I'm just, I, this rant was because I'm mad that we as society has fallen to a point where now we're listening to anything they say up there, and now our children are being affected and can't go and play and stuff like that. It's insane. They closed down parks over here. We outside, and it's cold. I thought I thought COVID. If it's cold, it, oh, it's okay. It don't matter. Anyway, y'all got me tripping. I'm mad. I'm mad that as as we already knew, the Bible already said, as society, we just gonna fail, and 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 in the end, they will have complete control to a point where you either take this mark or you die. We already there. It's over. Don't try and change that. It's already written down in the Bible. It is it. That's all. I just hope that if, 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 if you're buying into their Kool-Aid now, that by that time you might be like, oh, hold on now. This is going too far. You want me to do what? Or I can't go eat? You want me to get a shot of what? A mark of who? Or I can't. And then hopefully y'all wake up and then and understand oh this is the beast this is the system because that's all our government is anyway i'm done i'm so glad that you all sat the whole time with me i just want you guys to just remember the main things is do not have fear the bible says he has not given you the spirit of fear so if god didn't give you the spirit of fear then it must be coming from somebody else trying to put fear in you Y'all, do me a favor and just don't watch any more political anythings. Just shut it off. It's lies. It's witchcraft and it's spells. And it got Christians believing that they should be afraid of stuff. I'm separated. I'm taken out. I don't even move. I'm a peculiar person. My DNA automatically don't even run like yours. Just because I got Jesus in me. So, anyway... That's all. I'm done. I, I'm going to go take a nap. I'm sleepy. So I love you guys. Do not be afraid. That's what I'm trying to say. And I'm just mad that they're separating our children. And then and then I feel, I feel like they want to separate us so much and take away fun things like amusement parks and water parks and, 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 and libraries and um, roller skating rinks just so we can be like, oh gosh, when they open this back up or when they get vaccines, I can't wait so I could go and just slip and slide again like we used to. Lord have mercy. So, I don't know. You just have to understand when you're being manipulated. They want to control you. Oh, you want to go to a water park like your family used to do every summer? Well, you have to take this first. Get the heck out of here with that. You got to see. Y'all got to see what's going on. But that's okay. It's all good. The Most High got me here with you. Make sure you um, follow my page here. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much, you know. And, and, and the Lord and I, we'll, we'll, we'll keep giving you what's, what's really going on. We'll keep you going with what's really going on. All right, you guys. Thank you so much. I'll talk with you soon. Bye.